quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Whee! This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. Dice. No comment. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Ah yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect, I'll take two. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, there it is!
We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Just making sure. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Can I go now? Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Amateurs. Let me 
me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. <sighs> you made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo.
Well, that's nice. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! It's Brady Culture! He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg! Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Is this art, or is it advertising? I... I'm not... Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No! Where? <laughs> just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Caffeine rush. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A Munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself! How can I be calm with the Munchkin terrorists in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order! Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. 
I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It, it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray. Stop Celtic right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. I'm sorry, what was your problem again? My problem is the police on my case have apparently been attacked by brain-stealing aliens. <laughs> you have been attacked by brain-stealing aliens, haven't you? No, no. Only yanking your chain, compadre. Wizard, dumping videos, taking nothing but leaks. Got it. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Nothing for us right now. Okay. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Hot weenies. Look, Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. 
Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! You. Toilet brush. I'll pass. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. Chilled and preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Come on, sing the Soda Popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. Are you sure you won't sing the Soda Popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Pretty please. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Ugly please. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. I promise not to sing along. No. 
Come on, sing the soda popper song. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. Well, okay. <laughs> Little peeper, specks, and whizzer toiling out the soda works, guzzling with tiny gizzards. Soda fountain special perks. Then they run like human blizzards, more than simple soda jerks. Soda poppers more than jerks! Wow, I feel all clam chowdery inside. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. What? Oh! Ooh. Did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention, shoppers. The cheese ain't free. Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. 